Backtrack TV. Subscribe. Ryan Garcia, nicknamed King Ryan, is a young American boxing sensation known for his lightning-fast hands, knockout power, and immense social media presence. Born in Victorville, California in 1998, Ryan inherited a love for boxing from his family, who were deeply involved in the amateur boxing scene. He began training at the young age of seven. Garcia comes from a large family. His parents have been actively involved with his career since he was an amateur. They continue to assist him with his professional career as his father remains one of his trainers and his mother works as his personal administrative assistant for commercial projects. Garcia attended Adelanto High School before leaving due to amateur boxing commitments. In March 2019, Garcia's daughter was born. Garcia has four sisters and a brother called Sean, who is also a professional boxer. Although American by birth and nationality, Garcia often incorporates his Mexican heritage into his persona. He often carries both the US and Mexican flags into the ring and frequently wears red, white and blue colors. Ryan Garcia is a father to three children, two daughters and a son. His first child, a daughter named Riley, was born in 2019 from his previous relationship with Catherine Gomez. His second daughter, Bella, was born in December 2020 with Drea Selina. In December 2023, Garcia's third child was born. The son, named Henry, is his second child with Drea Selina. Garcia's amateur career was nothing short of spectacular. He amassed an incredible record of 215 and 15, capturing 15 national amateur championships. His remarkable talent and charisma propelled him into the professional ranks in 2016. Since turning pro, Garcia's success has continued, with just a single loss marring an otherwise nearly perfect record. Garcia turned professional at age 17 on June 9, 2016. In his first professional bout, he fought against Edgar Meza in Tijuana, winning the match by TKO. Garcia soon signed with Golden Boy Promotions in November 2016. Oscar De La Hoya announced Garcia would make his debut on December 17, 2016 on the Smith Hopkins Light Heavyweight Main Event at the Forum. Garcia won the fight by knockout in the second round. In October 2018, he started training with Eddie Reynoso, who also trained Canelo Alvarez and Oscar Valdez at their gym in San Diego, California. In September 2019, Garcia extended his contract with a new five-year deal with Golden Boy Promotions. Garcia turned professional at age 17 on June 9, 2016. In his first professional bout, he fought against Edgar Meza in Tijuana, winning the match by TKO. Garcia soon signed with Golden Boy Promotions in November 2016. Oscar De La Hoya announced Garcia would make his debut on December 17, 2016, on the Smith Hopkins Light Heavyweight Main Event at the Forum. Garcia won the fight by knockout in the second round. WBC Interim Lightweight Champion Garcia vs. Campbell On October 8th, it was announced Garcia would be facing Olympic gold medalist Luke Campbell for the interim WBC lightweight title at Fantasy Springs Resort in Indio, California. The fight was originally scheduled for December 5th, 2020, but was pushed back to January 2nd, 2021, due to Campbell contracting COVID-19. The venue was also changed to the American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas. In round two of his fight with Campbell, Garcia was knocked down for the first time in his professional career. He had survived the knockdown as he got up shortly after hitting the canvas. Later on in the fight, in round seven, Garcia hit Luke Campbell 
with a fight-ending body shot. CompuBox statistics show Garcia outlanded Campbell 94 to 74, 32% in total punches and 77 to 51, 44% in power punches, with Campbell outlanding Garcia in jabs 23 to 17, 15%. The fight was ultimately Campbell's last bout before his retirement. Garcia versus Fortuna. On July 16, 2022, Garcia faced Javier Fortuna in a super lightweight bout in Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles, California. Garcia dominated the fight, scoring knockdowns in rounds 4, 5, and 6, with the referee stopping the fight after the third knockdown. All the judges had scored the fight identically 50-43 prior to the stoppage, giving Garcia every round. Garcia received praise for his performance, which was described as being an improvement over his performance against Targo, Javonta Davis versus Ryan Garcia. On February 24, 2023, it was announced that Garcia would face Javonta Davis on April 22nd in Las Vegas, Nevada, in a 136 pounds catchweight contest. The long awaited bout was a joint PPV event between Showtime and DAZN. Davis knocked down Garcia in the second round, and then also in the seventh round, from a body shot. Garcia was unable to rise on the referee's count of 10, leading to Gavonta Davis being declared winner via KO. Following the fight, Garcia was criticized by some boxing figures for not rising in the seventh round. In an appearance on Max on Boxing, Timothy Bradley said that Garcia quit, stating, Listen to me. If you can get up at 11, why can't you get up at 9? If you can look up, you can get up, Max. And he chose not to. Promoter Eddie Hearn stated, You can't say that he didn't quit. But I don't blame him for doing it, like most people in that position would have done that. But quitting is deciding not to continue, and he decided not to continue. This was Garcia's first loss as a professional. Garcia left his trainer Goosen a week after the Davis fight and hired Derek James as his trainer in May 2023. Garcia vs. Duarte Garcia faced Oscar Duarte at the Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. The fight took place on December 2nd, 2023. Garcia won the fight by KO in the eighth round after landing a combination late in the round, rendering Duarte unable to beat the count of the referee. The impressive win helped to regain momentum and belief in Garcia again. Garcia vs. Haney On February 9, 2024, it was announced that Garcia vs. Devin Haney was signed for April 20, 2024 in Las Vegas, Nevada for the WBC Super Lightweight title. Two days before the fight, Garcia agreed to a wager with Haney that Garcia would pay $500,000 for every pound over the limit should he miss weight. Garcia later weighed in at 143.2 pounds, 3.2 pounds over the championship limit, and would forfeit up to $600,000 of his purse to Haney. Garcia would not be eligible to win the title. In the end, Garcia paid Haney 1.5 million pounds, honoring this personal wager with his opponent. Garcia won the bout via majority decision. Garcia knocked down Haney in rounds 7, 10, and 11 before coming away with the victory by majority decision 114, 110, 115, 109, 112, 112. In 2019, Garcia starred as Sonny Mendoza in the Brat Teen web series On the Ropes. During 2021, Garcia signed a deal with sports drink Gatorade to appear on television commercials advertising the brand, thus becoming the first American boxer ever to appear on a Gatorade campaign. Ryan Garcia, the popular boxing star, experienced a whirlwind of personal events in late 2023, 
he announced the birth of his son, Henry Leo Garcia, with his then-wife, Drea Selina. However, shortly after, Garcia revealed the couple's decision to divorce. The news came as a shock to fans, especially given the timing. Court documents indicated the separation occurred around Christmas 2023, citing irreconcilable differences. Despite the split, Garcia emphasized his commitment to co-parenting their children. He expressed a desire to maintain a positive relationship with Selena for the sake of their family. While the reasons for the divorce remain private, the public nature of the events sparked both support and criticism for the young boxer. Leading up to the big showdown between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, many people become concerned for Ryan Garcia's mental health. It was speculated that he may have been experiencing some sort of a breakdown due to his outlandish claims and theories. He was adamant that there existed an organization in America that was exempt from the law and were responsible for widespread assault of minors. He named this group of powerful people and said they were called Bohemian Grove. He accused the members of many heinous crimes and went on a ferocious campaign against them, calling out their alleged wrongdoings. Many commentators were confused about his behavior and ultimately gave him little to no chance of winning the fight, as his mind did not seem to be in the right place. After Garcia won the bout, he claimed that the majority of his antics were made up and that he was for the most part acting. So what's next for the lightweight and welterweight superstar? Well, a move to 147 pounds seems more than likely, but fights with Teofimo Lopez, Shakur Stevenson, and a rematch with either Devin Haney or Javonta Davis would all be exciting matchups for Ryan Garcia. I said, guess who's back? Man, guess who's back? I said, guess who's back? <laughs>